The public's condemnation of members of Congress getting the vaccine before them has been swift. It's even more profound for those members who downplayed the virus to the detriment of the public. I understand the resentment. And I understand that it's not just about a literal vaccine. It's about the frustration of always waiting for your shot, your shot at the American dream, your chance to be inoculated against hardship and poverty and injustice, to be immunized against food and housing insecurity, the shot that protects your children, your chance to thrive. It's not just the vaccine. It's about the feeling that everyone else seems to be deemed more worthy, their problems more urgent, their lives mattering more. Being told to wait your turn is belittling, infuriating. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s letter from a Birmingham jail captured that sentiment. Wait is the word that rings in the ear with piercing familiarity. I understand the impatience when your dignity, when your life is on the line. And those that don't understand that by now, well, perhaps they never will. I understand the need to shout. So shout, but get the vaccine. Decry any caste system that places the haves above the have-nots, but decry it while you're getting the vaccine. Write, call, or even vote your congressperson out for their action or their inaction. But write, call, and vote while you're getting the vaccine. Protest, plead, petition the government for redress of your grievances, but protest, plead, petition while you're getting the vaccine. Command respect and demand equality, including the equitable distribution of health care or the vaccine itself. But do it while a vaccine distributes antibodies through your system. Democratically strong arm those complicit in human suffering. But do it with the vaccine in your own arm. There is hypocrisy. There is unfairness, and bureaucracies are they're not for the faint of heart. The American people were told time and again, this year alone, to vote like your life depends on it. And you listened, because it did. So let's turn out like that for the vaccine. And, and the idea that your life depends on it is not a political talking point. Your life actually does depend on it, and my life depends on it. And when it's my turn, even after I have to impatiently wait for the vaccine, I am not throwing away my shot.